All right, here we go with problem 38. You can't see it, but it says this figure represents the pattern of a quilt. So there's some quilt here. We have 90 degrees here at A. And it tells us this other stuff. It says angle ABC is 120. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to write 120 at angle ABC. So A to B to C. This is 120 degrees. As soon as I know that, I know this other side up here, I'm going to go ahead and write a 60 because that's a straight line. Those are a linear pair. It says ADC, ADC has this expression 2x plus 30. All right, can't do anything there. BCD, B to C, back to D, that is an x. Well, right now, if that's an x, I could say that's 180 minus x, but I'm not worried about that. I notice that this closed-in shape here is a quadrilateral, four sides. All quadrilaterals are now add up to 360. So I know this 90 plus the 120 plus the x plus this corner here, which was 2x plus 30, has to add up, we said, to 360 degrees, because all quadrilaterals, all four-sided shapes add up to it. And if you don't remember, remember, you just use the formula, n minus 2 times 180. And that would give you 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 times 180 360. But just think of a rectangle or a square or anything, you know that adds up to 360. So here, 9120, that's going to be 210, plus the 30 there is going to be 240. X and 2X is going to be 3X equals 360. Now, to be honest, we haven't even read the question yet, but we know that more than likely we're going to have to find X's value. 3X in this case is 120. Divide by 3, I got X is 40. So I can find a lot of information now. If that's 40 right there, I now know this is 180 minus 40, so I know this is 140 right here. I could find that in that angle. Let's see what it's asking for. It's asking for D to C to E, D to C to E, which is what we just found. So it's going to be 140 degrees right there. Choice B.